Here's another way I make plarn, also known as plastic yarn. First, I'm going to take my grocery bag and I'm going to fold it in half. Then I'm going to fold it in half again. And just like in the other method, I'm going to cut off my handles and then I'm going to cut off the bottom. So the difference between this and the other method is that instead of cutting off individual pieces and tying them together, I'm going to create a continuous spiral. I saw it mentioned in the comments of the other video, and I figured some of you might want to have the option between one method or the other. So once I have my bag opened back up, I'm going to take the bottom and I'm going to fold it to the top, but I'm not going to go all the way. I'm going to leave about an inch off. Then I'll repeat that fold two more times and pull out my handy dandy scissors again to cut off strips, but I'm not cutting them off per se. I'm cutting through the folded portion, but I'm leaving it intact on top. Now those strips do have to be about the same size or same width. I wouldn't go any smaller than what I have here because yes, it'll probably make a good enough spiral, but once you start working with it, it is very fragile and might tear. Then I'm going to fold the pieces back down, but not all the way. I just want them out of the way for a little bit. Then I'm going to take my left hand and I'm going to move it into the top part of the bag that we left uncut. And it's going to look pretty bad on camera. I couldn't figure out an easier way to show you how to do it. But once it's set up, it'll, it'll look a little bit more like it makes sense. So since the bag wants to stick together here, I'm using my fingers to um, kind of pull the top part apart so that I can start my diagonal cuts. And this is why I think this method requires a little bit more focus than the other one. I personally couldn't watch TV while I was doing this because I'd probably cut off a finger or something. But first I'm going to make my first diagonal cut. And the only way that I've been able to verbally explain um, how the next set of diagonal cuts go is, um, you know that S thing everyone drew in school? where you have the three lines on top and then you have the three lines on bottom, that, that S braid thing. So the diagonal lines in it is how you would cut diagonally here and you would make that same kind of line, I guess. So the biggest difference between this method and the other is that the yarn here is a little bit more fragile, but it is thinner. So you can use a smaller hook without having to process the yarn by spinning it. And the other method, it is um, a little more sturdy because you're using two strips instead of one. And you can hide the knots more easily because there's already knots everywhere. But there you go. I hope 